In the year 2002, I was no knock raided by the chief of police, Michael Moore of LAPD with an entire SWAT team. In the year 2002, I was no knock raided by the chief of police, Michael Moore of LAPD with an entire SWAT team twice in the same month. Since that date, I began studying the history of America and constitutional law. I am an autodidactic constitutional law scholar. Over the past couple years, what I've done is I've been able to devise a system, understanding that the police have created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols that they use to arrest you. I've also created a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols for you to follow that gives you back the power when you're forced to interact with these jackboot thug It has become a tyrannical jackboot thug police state, prison state, death state. I will win the governorship and I will change the policies from the top down. Hi, I'm Corporal Wayne with the Dr. County Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over is you don't have any tail lights on. So cops got me pulled over. First thing I'm going to do when I start recording is I'm going to put this hand right here. You see that? You see how that works? This hand is now up in the air. My camera is going to bright up the sky. So if it's nighttime, then the coppers can see that the camera is in my hand. You can see that my hand is here. The other hand goes up into the window. I'm in touchdown position right here. My hands look like they're a goalpost. This hand is actually, I took my little miniature armrest right here. I put it up right here. Bam. This is how I use my trifold. If anything happens to me, I'm all set right here. Okay. Now, now that I got this like this, my camera's rolling. Most important thing. Second thing, my elbow goes in the windowsill right there. Do you see that? My elbow goes in the windowsill right there. There it is right there. Now, with this hand up in the air and this hand up in the windowsill right here, I'm all set. I'm all set. The most I'm going to do is take the same hand right here, reach down and slightly roll my window down just a scooch. I'm all set up. I'm in touchdown position. This hand is rolling camera. This hand is up here so that I can reach up and grab my trifold and my proof of identification and my license everything is up in my visor when that copper comes up to my window and he says do you know i pulled you over do you know how fast you were going how come you didn't pull over right away if he says hey can i get your license registration and proof of insurance great because this hand is not going to have a camera in it the one that i got my hand in now my camera's in this my camera's in this hand over here i'm in touchdown position just like a goal post now from right here i'm going to reach over and I'm gonna, with the same hand that this phone's in, I'm gonna reach over and grab my license registration and proof of insurance that is in my trifold right here. It's inside my trifold. Here's my license registration and proof of insurance right there. I got everything right there. See how that works? I'm just gonna slide that bad chicken out. There's everything I have to provide by law right there. License, registration, proof of insurance. I have everything right next to my trifold. Now, no matter what he says from there, I don't care what he says. How fast were you going? Are you going to your grandma's house? Are you the big bad wolf? No matter what he says, I'm not going to answer any of his questions. I take my license, registration, proof of insurance that will be in my left hand, and I give it to him. <laughs> you got it on There's video? Not your actual no, that's not that, but that's got my DL number right on the top. Okay. D 1940. Do you have your actual driver's license? Well, I mean, that is an actual photocopy of my driver's license, a laser copy. Actually, if I take the rest of the tape off there, it looks prettier than my actual driver's license. There you go. I don't want to deal with he didn't identify himself. He didn't have his registration. He didn't have his current ID. He didn't have his current insurance card. No, no, no. I have everything ready to go. It's right here with the same hand right here. I'm going to take it like this and I'm just going to slip my information right out the cracked window for that jack boot thug pig. Put it in the comment section, JBTP, Jack Boot Thug Pig. Put it in the comment section. I don't have a back and forth with the pig. I don't do that. I do not have a back and forth with that pig. Where are you going? Where are you heading? All that? No, 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 no. I'm not going to answer any questions. I'm not even going to entertain it. Not going to nod. Nothing. I'm going to give him my license, registration, proof of insurance. I'm just going to slip it right there. That's how it's going to work. Here's my here's my license, my registration, and my proof of insurance. Here's the insurance. Here's the rental car agreement. And my driver's license is right here. If you're poor and white or black or brown, don't reach around because you could die. 
It's a real thing. It's a reality here. So now I'm not going to get myself killed because I didn't follow a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols. I'm recording everything with my phone from over here. Everything's being recorded. You see that? The phone is facing me. So my head is the most important thing. Now, once I've given him my license, registration, proof of insurance, I'm filming everything. He asked me where I'm going. I say I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Okay. If you ask me another question, you're violating my rights, and I'll file a lawsuit against you. Write your ticket, do what you're going to do, but don't harass me any further. Your Honor, I'm showing him on camera that I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Piggy loses qualified immunity for questioning me. Say it with me. Piggy loses qualified immunity for questioning me. This is how it goes. This is the way it is. Now, if he says, where are you going? Where are you coming from? Do you have a firearm in the car? I'm then going to. Speaking huh. trifold. You don't have to answer any questions. He says, where are you coming from? And I say. Your Honor, I have shown the pig at the window that I clearly have identified that I've invoked my Fifth Amendment, and he already asked me where I'm going. He's violated my Fifth Amendment right. I'm showing him on video. It's on the literature. Your Honor, this is for my federal civil rights lawsuit. If I was you, pig, I would just go write your ticket. That's what I would do if I was you, pig. Get okay. the hell out of my face. There's everything you need. Go on. That's what I would uh, If I was you, piggy, I would go and write your ticket. This is how it works. This is how you use your trifold completely. This is the way you do it. There's no other way that I've taught. This is how you do it. Phone goes here. Elbow goes here. Trifold identification. Everything is up in the visor here. I'm ready to go. These boot licking troll channels. They sat down. They did the math one time and they said, well, Chile, if he if he's if he sells 20 trifolds in a day, that's some pretty good money. Why would he live so poor? Why wouldn't he spend some money? Why wouldn't he go and do some things? Well, you jack off nobody. It's because I have a mission. There's a purpose here. My purpose is to get a trifold in every single car in America. The mission is to get the Fifth Amendment cop cards in everybody's wallet. The yellow and blue cards only come out when there's a pig in front of you. That's when the yellow and blue cards come out. You don't pull the yellow and blue cards out until there's a pig in front of you. You memorize the cards so you know it backwards and forward. But this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new redesigned Fifth Amendment cop card. Now the driver card is in blue and the non-driver card is in yellow. Now they're easily color coded. So you know driving is blue, non-driving is yellow. You have to have a pair of Fifth Amendment cop cards in your wallet at all times. If you carry your credit cards in your phone, it's the exact same size as your visa, as your driver's license. And these cards, they're made out of the exact same material as the hotel key, your visa card, your driver's license. They don't destroy. It won't melt in your wallet. You need to have a Fifth Amendment driver and non-driver cop card in your wallet. These are the best gift you'll ever give anybody. Thanks. My name is Chili De Castro, and I am Delete Laws. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everybody, what is going on? I'm sure that you will not get a notification today because I did two premiere videos. Today's special is buy one, get one free. If you get a trifold today on Delete Laws, they cost you 25 bucks. I will give you a trifold for free and a pair of cop cards for free. And that is today's special from 1.15 p.m. Today, there'll be 4.15 p.m. East Coast time until tonight at midnight. I will do buy one trifle, get one free, and I'll send you off two. And I'll also give you guys a pair of cop cards for free. You can buy them. They're 10 bucks. But if you want, buy one, get one free and a pair of cop cards. Get to my website right now. Go to DeleteLaws.com and get a trifold. It also comes with this fancy broccoli wad rubber band. It comes with this fancy broccoli wad rubber band. That way... <clears throat> That way, you'll be able to put this up in your visor just like this. So what is going on out there? How is everybody doing? What's going on out there in the land of the unfree America? How is everybody doing today? Right on. Brandy got notifications. Super happy to hear it. Do me a favor. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like 
button. Hit the like button if you would, please. Hit the like button. I'm just going to wait. Everybody hit that like button. And then put in the comment section, O-T-V-O. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. So I do the same thing. Uh, Mike down here. Um, Mike, you haven't had it happen to you yet, have you, buddy? Have you? Ha you have not had it happen to you yet, have you? How many people here have been attacked or cheated by the cops when you didn't do anything wrong and didn't deserve to be beat up? Put a one in the chat. If you've been attacked or beat up by the pigs or seen your friends or loved ones or family members been attacked or beat up by pigs and you really didn't deserve it, put a one in the chat. If that's happened to you before, if, it, if it's happened to you before, put a one in the chat. Let me put a one for me. I've been arrested so many times I, I lost track. Mike, Mike, where you at, Mike? Where you at, Mike? Oh, you over there cop sucking on the cop stick? Is that where Mike is? He's got cop stick all over his face? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. I'm so sorry. I, I get it, Mike. You you are you you're you're perfect, bro. You're you're perfect, Mike. I forgot, bro. I forgot so much. I forgot so much. <laughs> Every Flowers is here. What's going on, Every Flowers? How's everybody doing today? So I want to show you guys something that happened on the New York City subway. And I want to show you how inept our leadership is. There's a couple of things I'm going to show you here. But more than anything else, what I want to show you here. Bye, new video. Okay. I hope they, you know, Brian over there at, at Here's the Deal, High Impact Flicks, he had this whole thing, the entire encounter, and now I can't find it again. So I want to show you guys this. This is going to be the state-run media's presentation, but I want to show it to you guys. They are passengers on a subway in Brooklyn, frightened for their lives as two men fight and one of them shoots the other in the head. I went as news reporter Jim Dolan live in downtown Brooklyn with the details on how horrifically it all went down. Jim. Tonight, Bill, a routine commute home turned in seconds into abject terror with gunfire and hundreds of passengers trapped underground or running for their lives. One man was shot in the head with a gun police say he first pulled. It was madness on the A-train. The two men scuffled briefly on the northbound A-train, but some passengers just stayed in their seats until the older of the two men pulled a gun. For hundreds of people on two separate trains, a routine commute home changed suddenly tonight with the deafening echo of gunfire underground. Where's the NYPD? Oh my God. Close the door. Close the door. Passengers crouched down to avoid the gunman firing in a car just across the platform. As I'm coming out, you hear, the, you hear pops, like like three or four shots, pop, pop, pop. Then the doors open, everybody come flying out. Some stayed glued to the floor where they thought they were safe. People were becoming frantic. People were praying, huddling on top of each other, hugging each other, trying to reassure one another that everything was going to be okay, but it didn't feel like that in the moment. But those closer. It was like a stampede. Like everybody was rushing to get off the train. So, you know, it was a lot of pushing and shoving, commotion, yelling, crying. This is crazy. Baby was right there. I don't think I was going to make it back home. I was next to everything, like just like you in front of me. That's where I was. It ended with a 36-year-old man shot in the head and rushed to the hospital in critical condition. It started on a northbound A train just as it was pulling into the Hoyt Street station as two men scuffled. One pulled a gun and the other took it. Okay, so what are we seeing here? The one guy is picking a fight with another guy. Oh, 
People screaming and yelling, welcome to another demonetized rendition of Delete Laws. Okay, so we see this, and now let me show Governor you. Kathy Hochul offering her support to the city to help slow down violent crimes in the subway system. This comes as yet another subway conductor is recovering after being attacked. Good days, Lizette Nunez. She as well as the latest lead is an the bitters. New York so City added into the subway system. So now what they did is they called in. Let me Let me explain what you're seeing here. So what they did is they called in. A couple thousand National Guards men who are people who serve the National Guard, and they called in a thousand New York State police to do stop and frisk, stop and and check your bag for weapons. But hold on, there's more here. After the month of January saw a shocking 46% increase in transit crime. Six. Within 15%. Er now, now, now take a look at her, okay? Take a look at her. Who'd they hire? Who who'd the people elect? Another ultra rich person, another billionaire's daughter, another multimillionaire's daughter. She has no idea. She's never been on the streets. She has no clue. She's just doing whatever the people advising her are telling her to do. And she's gonna tell you, you know, we're just gonna doesn't make you feel better. Especially when you've just heard about someone being slashed in the throat or thrown onto a subway's tracks. Critics are already questioning how effective random bag searches will be in reducing crime. Random bag searches, but we just saw a minute ago, we just saw. Oh, so it's an individual person. It's not people beating. I don't know what he was picking a fight about. And then I saw this today, and now I'm going to give New York City a solution. Yeah, right here today, I'm going to tell New York City what the solution is. But first, listen to Russell Brand, who's completely lost himself. He's lost himself. I may un New York City are deploying the National Guard, effectively militarizing their streets and especially their subways. So is this about citizen safety or is it, as Alex Jones warns, the piloting of martial law? <laughs> Hello there, you Awakening Wonders. Thanks for joining us on this voyage through truth and freedom. By clicking the link in the description, you can spell it and help our mercy. That most liberal of metropolis has militarized its law forces by putting the National Guard on the subway. Now, New York City is no doubt in a time of crisis, evidently and apparently connected to the issue of migration. But is this sudden appearance of military personnel on the New York subways really about protecting the citizenry or is it more insidious than that? Are we beginning to experience the piloting and grooming of a population to get us ready for militarized streets? For many years now, we've seen anti-protest laws, militarization of the police, police cars that used to be like, Nino, Nino, Sky Electrics, Dukes of Hazard, good old fashioned fun, have become like tanks now. Why has that happened? When did that become the- You can thank Bush and you can thank Trump, two Republicans. Necessary? Is it necessary in your neighborhood? And if rising crime is a problem in your neighborhood, what exactly is causing it? Or not? Look how compliant the news always is. Look, don't say that this is terrifying. Don't start saying the military are on the subway now. That authoritarian measures and perhaps even martial law. Alex Jones is a voice that's perhaps important. Let's have a look at what he's saying on this subject. When I was cutting my teeth 29 years ago on air, 
Bill Clinton had just been in office for a year or so, and it was confirmed. The military was warning. It was coming out. They were leaking classified documents uh, that now are all basically admitted and, and have been publicly rolled out against the public to incrementally bring in martial law. So they went from this being secret under Clinton, and then with Bush, yeah, it's mainly for Al-Qaeda, but it's also for domestic groups. And then you're asking, well, what's this really all about? And then you start to realize it's part of a long-term process of just getting the military, the police, the public ready for this. So here, here's what's happening. We're not going to have UN troops one day or Russian troops like Red Dawn and you're in Colorado. No, what they're going to do is they're going to slowly desensitize you by slowly stripping away your Fourth Amendment. They put 2,000 National Guards down in the subway, but what did they do? I have no problem with men with guns standing around. Wouldn't bother me at all. I don't care if there's men with guns standing around. I have a problem with men with guns saying, we want to search your bag. Why don't you put those men with guns on the subway cars and then create a digital system where people can push a button right there in the subway car that we have a problem in this car. Then they can walk from car to car down into the car where there's a problem. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that there are rights protectors protecting your rights without searching your bags? Could you only imagine rights protectors who are there to protect you only? National Guards are actually a perfect, it's a perfect solution. You could put National Guardsmen down in the subway that are there to protect your rights. They're not there to arrest people. They're not there to be law enforcement. They're there in case there's a problem where people start fighting or trying to steal someone else by using violence or pull out a gun or pull out a knife. Could you only imagine just for a moment, just for a second, that your bag doesn't have to be searched, that all your civil liberties can be preserved, but we could still have men with guns around? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Could you only imagine? Uh, and all of a sudden, parachutes come down and you've got Russian troops shooting at you. It'll be our own troops, but they'll be made up of people that have been tested for decades, going through the training, going along with attacking their own people. And now the troops are being deployed and searching everyone's bags. Like, how can you not be affected by that image? That's armed military personnel on the subway. Being well, Russell Brand, who has lost himself, folks. Russell Brand, who has lost himself. There is nothing wrong with having men with guns, even women with guns, who are there only in the event that the gun has to be used. And what's wrong with handing out with telling people that they can carry their own guns on the subway. Imagine that. Just imagine for a moment if every person on that subway had a gun. If we're going to put men with guns or women with guns, National Guardsmen with guns on the subway, why do they need to search your bags? This is where Alex Jones, in my perspective, is 100% correct. Normalized. I am quite sympathetic to the this perspective, given what I've witnessed and experienced in the last few years. And indeed, he's so afraid of MAGA and so afraid of offending people who are who are who are Trump supporters. I don't support Biden or Trump. He's so afraid. Russell Brand is he's lost himself and is showing he's working out an incremental increase in these tactics and techniques over several administrations. Isn't that indeed the domestic heart of what globalism means, that regardless of who you vote for, you've got deep state interests that have an agenda that spans various administrations, and those administrations will focus on hot button cultural topics. Meanwhile, the projects of war and social control will continue. And even beyond the physical representation of military presence on the street, which is terrifying, we know and often discuss how techniques designed to track and control dissidents abroad, specifically, literally, groups like ISIS, are now deployed. Once you've seen armed military personnel conducting bag checks on a sub... There's the problems. Listen again. Once you've seen armed military personnel conducting bag checks... On you are the terrorist, not the guy picking the fight, not the person picking the fight in the subway... We all need to be searched. Your bag needs to be searched. 
You know what's funny? I looked up what it took to run for mayor of New York City. Check this out. Qualifying to, to candidates must demonstrate work. Per, no, 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 no. The only, so just so you know, I'll just tell you out loud what it is. The only thing you have to do is be in New York City. That's all it takes. Do you have to be a millionaire to run for mayor of New York City? Do you see? Do you see what the problem is? You're electing the sons and daughters of billionaires and millionaires. Kathy Holcomb has no idea what to do. She's going to listen to the authoritarian legislator or the authoritarian advisor in her little group. Hey, Kathy, talking directly to you here, hon. Take those troops from the gates, put them in the cars, and tell them they are not law enforcement. They're not there to enforce laws. They're only there to uphold the rights of citizens. And then Kathy Holcomb, let me help you out, honey, okay? Then you put in a system where people can push an emergency button when someone's being assaulted or attacked. Then the armed men with guns can then ascend from car to car into the car where that's happening. <gasps> and you can keep your Fourth Amendment. Yes, you can. You can keep your Fourth Amendment. Could you imagine you could keep your Fourth Amendment and you wouldn't. Do you have to be a millionaire to run for mayor of New York? You got to be the son or daughter of a politician or you got to be a millionaire to be in leadership in our country. You think that's right? Put a one in the chat if you totally disagree with that. Put a one in the chat if you totally and utterly disagree with the idea that you have to be a millionaire or you have to be the son or daughter of a billionaire or politician for you to be the leader. Well, Kathy Holcomb, I'm over here on the West Coast. I'm telling you now, I'm the leader and I'm telling you how to lead, honey. You don't need to put military men at the gate. You don't need to put men with we'll guns at the gate. Bags. You don't need to do that. That does not need to happen. As a matter of fact, that's the antithesis of People that have been tested freedom. for decades, going through the training, going along with attacking their own. So they're training those men to be willing to attack us. People. That our rights don't matter. That's what you're training those men with guns to believe. That they can run roughshod over our Fourth Amendment, force us to look in our belongings. And then, of course, the next step is grab them and arrest them. For what? We think they're a problem. They're protesting. We disagree with them. And now the troops. There it is right there. Okay, it's going through the training, going along with attacking their own people. And now the troop. There it is. So why are those guys at the gate? I thought the problem was inside the subway car. Isn't that where the problem happens? I mean, put a one in the chat if the, if the problem happens inside the subway car. Did you guys notice that the problem happens inside the subway car? Did anybody else notice that the problem happens inside the subway car? So why do you have men with guns there who are standing outside the gate, stopping and frisking people and looking into their bags? Is that going to stop two guys who are going to fist fight in the car? No. Is that going to stop? Listen, I'm 210 pounds and five foot eight. If I decide to take someone who's 120 pounds and put my hand around their neck and say, you're going to give me your wallet, they can't stop me. My arm alone weighs 40 pounds. They cannot stop me. They weigh 110. I weigh 210. Did taking away my weapon stop anything? Did making sure I didn't have a knife or gun stop me from sticking my hand on that guy's neck and saying, you're going to give me your wallet? And who in the car now is going to stop me? You disarmed everybody. Nobody there has an arm anymore. Nobody has a firearm. Nobody has a knife. You're going to disarm everybody. And then we just rely on the bag checks to get us through. That's the problem with stripping our civil liberties. You should have a weapon. You should have a knife. You should have a gun and you should carry it. But the government doesn't want you to be able to fight back against the government. That's what you're seeing here. Russell Brand has lost himself trying to prop up dumpster fire Trump, who wants to indemnify police, who last I checked, he was the authoritarian who went in with the military and cleared out a section holding his Bible so he could get a picture. I hate Trump's guts. He's a piece of shit. Every day I wake up and I hope he's dead.
every day. The same thing with Biden. But then we would have this total nutball Kamala Harris running our country. Actually, it's Obama underneath the White House who's pushing the levers. Just remember that, okay? I help. I hate Biden the same. But Trump's a piece of shit. Just a straight up piece of shit. Sorry, you don't like it? It's true. People say, oh, Trump's not racist. He got sued for seven times for being racist before he ever was in politics ever. He lost all seven times. So I know the cases. I can rattle them off for you. It's just such a load of shit. So then now you have Kathy Holcomb, who's going to say what? Let's go back to Kathy here. It's at 11 o'clock. Terrifying new video of passengers on a subway in Brooklyn. What's Kathy Fright Holcomb going to say? Here? In the year 2000. Let's see. Kathy Holcomb. Governor announces bag checks. Let's see where she is here. Here she is. Now to breaking news, Governor Kathy Hochul just hours ago announcing new steps to help make this. And who is Governor Kathy Hol Holuk? Who is Hulk? Hulk, how do you say her name? Subway safer after a series. Oh, keeping the subway safer by making sure you can't defend yourself. Some violent incidents. The plan involves deploying the National Guard. Right, to, to check your bag. Not to put them on the subway cars to check your bag so that the National Guardsmen and that people in authority start to realize that you don't have any rights, that if Kathy Holcomb tells them to arrest you, they just can. This is Doug Williams is at a new... See, go left shoals to places local this morning at the city's transit control center laying out. <laughs> Take a look at the douchebag on the left hand side. Take a look at this authoritarian douchebag. Nation requires. I'm here to take action. Oh, you're here to take action? Kathy, you wouldn't know what street smarts were if they smacked you upside the face. You don't. You have no idea, Kathy. You've never had to deal with anybody on the street. Kathy, you look great, honey. Your skin looks good. Your lipstick looks good. Your hair, you probably smell good. Let's ask Joe Biden how she smells, right? <laughs> Kathy, you wouldn't know street smarts if they grabbed your skirt. You would have no idea what street smarts are. Take a look at how good Kathy looks. Oh, man. She looks like the Maybelline girl, doesn't she? She looks like something just came, walked right off the 5th Avenue, 7th Avenue cover of that amazing store. She looks like she came right. I don't even know the names of the stores anymore. Because that's what the situation requires. Oh, Kathy. And look at the douchebag on the left here on the front. See, look to your lower left. I don't know. The guy wearing the dark, dark, dark suit. Governor Hochul this morning at the city. Look at that dork pig. Look at him. City's Transit Control Center laying out a five-part plan to make riding the subway safer. The five-part plan includes that you lose your Fourth Amendment right. That your bag needs to be searched. You mean... We couldn't put armed men in their in, in the National Guard suit on the trains. We couldn't do that. We have to search your bag. Why do we have to search your bag? Why does your bag have to be searched? You're training those men that you have no rights. And all that has to be said, like Long Island Audit said, these guys are just following orders. Yeah, Long Island Audit. Long Island Audit, why isn't this your idea? <laughs> because there's no leadership. There's not a leadership bone in that guy's body. Leadership means we do need security. I agree. We do need to stop the rampant fist fights and stabbings and shootings down in those subway cars. That's where they're happening. They're happening on the platforms and in the cars. They're not happening at the gate where they disarm you where they want to search through your bag and violate your Fourth Amendment right. New Yorkers, I hope you guys get the message. Somebody in New York, tell them. As you can see, the shadow ban is now on for this channel. They just turned the shadow ban on. Forget it. <laughs> You're not going to. I mean, the shadow ban on this channel has been just absolute terrible the past week or so. It's just ridiculous. But the solution is not to strip you of your Second Amendment right to self-defense. The solution is to put men with guns in uniform on the cars and on the platforms and not violate your Fourth Amendment right. Not violate your Fourth Amendment right. Hey, um, 
King Braveheart, thank you. 40 more memberships. And Warren Lancaster, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I do, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, Chris Alderson. I mean, there's 360 people here across like Twitter, a couple YouTube channels, Facebook profile, Facebook page. The shadow ban is completely on right now, big time. There's usually a thousand people here. 800, 700, 900, 1,000. Those have been the numbers for the past month or so. But we're right over the target. We're right over the target because we're saying and doing things here on this channel that other people are not. They're just not. Where else have you heard that you should keep your Fourth Amendment, but we should use National Guardsmen? I'm for that. It's so bad down there that people in New York are on X saying, Hey, that's not safe. I don't want to ride the subway. People are scared of me. I'm afraid of people on the subway. Great. Then, then, then put, then go ahead and put people on there. Put people on there who are going to protect the rights of others who are not law enforcers. National Guardsmen are not law enforcers. They're only there to protect your rights. Then with the digital era today, could you imagine? Could you just imagine for a second? Just Shiver me timbers. You could actually put a system in where you push a button right there on subway car number 47 that there's a fist fight in here and the and the National Guardsman in subway car number 44 could walk down three cars with his M16 and say, stop the fight now. There you go. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that you get to keep your Fourth Amendment right? Could you imagine that? We have rights protectors that protect your rights. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Could you even imagine? Can you even imagine? I've learned so much to protect my rights and secure my papers. That's a fact. I mean, I, I just, April's in the room. Good to see you, April. Thanks for coming. Kurt's here. Just following orders. I wouldn't give a dime of tourism dollars to New York City who the hell wants to visit that place anymore? Your rights are upended. You go to New York City, turn around, bend over, squat, and cough. I'm not arrested, though. We need to search you. We need to search you. That's what we need to do. We need to search you. And, and, and you're seeing it. Rattling off statistics. saying That's all you got, honey, because you don't have any street smarts at all. You're just a millionaire, son, of, son or daughter of a billionaire, son or daughter of a politician. Things are getting better. Doesn't make you feel better. Right. And you have no solutions. You're just doing what the pigs around you are telling you to do, Kathy. Especially when you've just heard about someone being slashed in the throat or thrown onto a subway track. Right. And you're not putting the National Guardsmen on the cars and creating a system for a panic alert button so the National Guardsmen can ascend upon that car. You're, make, you're forcing everybody to give up their rights. You're no leader. Kathy, you're no leader. I'm sorry. You're good looking, honey. You're good looking woman. You are. I mean, look at her. She looks great. Her hair looks great. <laughs> Reminds me of leaving Las Vegas. You look great and you smell great and your hair is great. I feel like Joe Biden over here. <laughs> smelling kids and smelling, smelling women. Hokel's plan includes deployment. Amend state law to ban repeat offenders. Strengthen relationship between the police and the DA's office. <laughs> Strengthen the relationship between the police and the DA's office. H-O-C-H-U-L. Let, let's take a look just what the people say, who Kathy Holcomb is. Let's take a look at what people say on Wikipedia here, okay? Born in 1958, so she's, she's literally almost 20. She's 16 years older than I am. She serves as 57th governor of New York as a Democrat. She's the first female governor. Oh, more women in politics. Amazing, right? It's gone so well for the past 100 years. Born in Buffalo, the second of six children to a Catholic. She graduated from Syracuse University, received a Juris Doctorate from a Catholic university. Ultra Christian, right? Was appointed to Erie County Clerk in 2007. After serving in the Hamburg Town Board as a Deputy Erie Clerk, Hulk 
Hochul, I don't know how to say her name, was appointed and she was elected, blah, blah, blah. Hochul won four candidates, special elections, New York 26th Congress district to fill. What about her parents? Hochul was born to Kathy Courtney in Buffalo, the second of six children to John Patrick Courtney, to Jack Courtney. The family struggled financially during her early years, lived in a trailer near, near a steel plant. By the time Hulkel was in college, her father was working as an information technology company. He later headed. Oh, so play up the trailer story, but really your dad was the head of an information technology company. Hulkel became politically active during her college years, led a boycott of the student bookstore over high prices. After a star running back who died of cancer before he could join the NFL, lobbied the university. After graduating from law school, she began working for a Washington, D.C. law firm, but found the work unsatisfying. She's worth $3,177,000. So you elected a rich person who has absolutely zero. Remember, don't let the, don't let people lie. This woman, her father was successful, the head of a technology company and information system. Then she went to Syracuse university and then, <laughs> and then she's made millions of dollars. And then she got herself to win the governorship. <laughs> what kind of what kind of brains do you think she has as far as being street smart? Shabindu is in here. What's going on? You guys are gifting memberships like crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, always remember that if you guys ever donate any money, put donation on that subject line. Because we do have, let me show you guys the where we are right now. I want to show you guys where we are right now as far as press with Ranker. Because we, I'm going to raise, with your help, with Team DLZ, we're going to raise $6,000 for press with Ranker. Which comes up on the 20th of April. 20th of April. So I'm going to put these here and then I'm going to show you guys the PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo and exactly where we are coming up to the $6,000. As I told you guys, I'm not going to change anything about PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App until we get to that $6,000. And let me read some names and just say thank you to a few people. So we are right now, we are right now at $525 on PayPal. This is you putting in $5, $10, $50, whatever you can. Ryan L put in, Ryan L put in a hundred bucks. Robert T, Jeffrey T, Jessica, Jessica Kerstad, she's in the room. Sheila, uh, Chuck P, who's in the room. And it says donation for Garrett's legal fund. All this money is going to Garrett's legal fund. I put the receipts in the community center, in the community tab on my on my YouTube page, where we've already sent off $18,000 to the lawyer. Sheila B, Charles P, Gary B, Chevy. What's up, Chevy. Chevy with a couple C notes in there. Thank you, Chevy. I appreciate it. Let me check the cash app. I'll tell you guys where we're on cash app. So that was 500 and, and, and something. And then on cash app right now, we're at $404. We're at $404. So we're almost to a thousand bucks of the $6,000. Absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. All of this money, every single dime of this is going to go to press with Ranker's attorney. And I'll cover the difference if we don't get the $6,000. And then on Venmo, we're at 135. We're at 135. So that means we're just about 1100, 1080, somewhere in there, $1,100. So I just want to say thank you, everybody. If you donate anything at all, make sure you put donation on the subject line. And then uh, I think uh, Drophead74 sent a Zell. I will check that Zell. I'm pretty sure he sent a Zell. And, and he's put in a ton of money just donating to people. So anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I spelled my name Chili with two L's. Chili's just a nickname I got as a very small boy. It, I was raised in an all-white town who the, the neighborhood boys called me Chili Taco and Chilada Burrito. Mostly called me Chilito. The, my name was Chilito, Chilito in Colombia. And then they called me 
Cholito. And so then a few of my friends called me Chili. Then when I got to college, uh, when I went to my first job when I was 18 years old at Bally's U.S. Women's Fitness, the, the general manager of that place named Jerome, he was from South Central L.A. And I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and he put Chili D on my business cards. And that's how the name just stuck. Because then I was there for four months working for, for Bally's. And then it ended up just going by just straight Chili. So, yeah, two L's and an E is how my business cards were spelled. So I just copied it, you know, and I just. It's funny. I never called myself a constitutional law scholar until I went on Dennis Sperling's show. Wow. Wow. What's up, Playboy? What's up? Did you guys just see that? Is, is that what I did? I, I don't know how I, I don't know how that just happened. I don't know how that I don't know how that just happened. <laughs> that was really cool. Did you guys see the fireworks? That was really, really cool. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So that was just a little backstory about me. But I don't think that Kathy, Kathy Holt. Hokel, I don't think, she, you know, the millionaire she is, I don't think that she knows how to lead. I think she knows how to take a consensus vote of the people around her. I think she knows how to listen to pigs. I mean, it's plain as day from what she said right here. I mean, look, look at what she said here. Now to breaking news, Governor Kathy Hochul just hours. What did Kathy Hochul say the solution would be right here? Thinning relationship strengthening the relationship between the police and the DA's office. What do you guys think of that? What, what do you guys think of strength? Subway safety, Holkel's plan, 750 National Guards members. But where is the digital era, Kathy? Where is the idea there's a panic button on the different subway cars where people could hit the panic button? And then of the 750 National Guardsmen, how many are you putting on the subways? How many? I know you're putting them to search our bags with, M16s pointing at us, but how many are going on the subway trains? And I'm on the West Coast telling you, Kathy, how to do it. And someone knows Kathy, tell her how to do it. That's how you do it, Kathy. You put a digital system in place for a digital era because we're now more interconnected than ever before. And you can tell when we're right over the target, when we're right over the target, when the numbers that we have up here are cut in half or more. They don't want me to become governor. Remember, the, the hate that they're going to say about me, the lies they're going to make up about me as soon as I actually run for the mayor of New York City or for the governor of California, Ohio, New York, New Jersey, Florida. You see, you have to go to a place where there's a population. You know, I've thought about Nevada and Utah. I've thought about all kinds of places to run for governor. But as mayor of New York City, as mayor of New York City, you you really have a lot of power of things you could do. And then you would be in charge of the largest gang in America, which is the NYPD with 33, 34,000 pigs, 33 or 34,000 pigs. And then you could change that system from the top down where you no longer have those pigs running around acting like a gang because you put a 24 seven camera on every one of them where they can't turn the camera off, can't turn the sound off. But that's not Holko's solution. Her solution is to stopping and searching you. That's her solution is to stop and search regular people who are not going to, how many people are not going to pick a fight on the subway? P put a one in the chat. If you are not going to put New York, please, I can get you a thousand of votes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. The, the you know, I looked up the qualifications to run for mayor of New York City. It's you you just have to be a resident there, be there between the the days of March, I think it's March 15th and March, March 10th and March 25th, where you have to gain uh, twenty five hundred signatures to get on the ballot. That's it. Those are the requirements. And then be there for the June election. That's it. That's what it takes. And it's now four years away from right now which gives me enough time to finish what I'm doing in Nevada and in California. And I could move to New York city and run for mayor of New York city. And we saw that this channel has grown huge just because of the message that we are overturn Terry versus Ohio. Meanwhile, you got armed felons who have more subscribers than we do, who don't have any leadership qualities. None. They don't have any leadership qualities. I'm sorry. You don't. Oh, I know it. I, I know it. I know, I know for a fact I will become the governor. And if I don't become the governor right away, I'll become the mayor first. And then I'll change things from the top down. That's a fact. And then, and you guys will see, if I go to New York and I win the mayor, when I, if I decide to go to New York and win the mayorship there, then you'll see that the governor will come and try to, to stop what I'm doing. 
you'll see it. So it's it's interesting. It's an interesting proposition to me. I mean, I looked up, you know, what are the qualifications? Here's here's the qualifications to become. Here's a list of the here's a list of them. I'll show you guys. It says right here. I, I can tell you, I already, I already read this when I was driving earlier today. Candidate must be required to fill financial cam uh, campaign financial disclosures. Look at that. The, there's the only qualifications you have to have. I already know this is you have to live in New York City. You have to be a resident of New York. You have to be there in March to get your 2,500 signatures, which you have to collect yourself with you and your little team of people. And then you have to be there for the June election. That's the qualifications to run for mayor of New York City. You don't have to have any anything else. There's no time limit you have to live there. Nothing. Oh, is that right? Um, by the way, uh, American Patriot premiere comes out at 3.30 p.m. today. Episode 37 of American Patriot comes out today on American Patriot Forever. Someone can drop the link down in the chat. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. We are living in absolute dystopia. And then we have people who are multimillionaires who are running for governor that are winning the governorship. That That's what's going on. That is literally what is going on. Everybody do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Take your finger. It's the thumbs up thing down there. Watch this. Watch this. It didn't do it. It's, it does it all the time. Where's the thumbs up button? Anyway, hit the like button if you would, please. If you would, pretty please. And then let's do this. Put in the comment section, OTVO. Overturn Terry versus Ohio. Put it in the comment section real fast. Just real fast. Chevy, what's going on, Playboy? I think Drophead74 was in here. Tobias is in here. Brandy Swaney is in here. What is going on? SD, SSDI boy is in here. Avery Flowers is in here. I see you, Avery. I see you. No problem, Samuel. We, we're listen to me. We have to. We have to get the governor. Paul Trickett is in here. Everybody, nice to see you. Mark Lagrange is in here. Good to see everybody. Good. This good time is in here. All right, let's get into some police stuff. Remember the special today. If you go to the website and you get a trifold, it's buy one get one free day. And I always include a pair of cop cards in with your order, so you will get. A buy one, get one free of the trifold. It's 25 bucks. That's what it costs plus shipping. And then I'll send you an extra trifold in your envelope with the fancy broccoli wad rubber band right here with the fancy broccoli wad rubber band. So it goes over your visor. I will also include a pair of cop cards in there for you, driver and non-driver. You get those on deletelaws.com, deletelaws.com with a Z. Order your 5A cop cards on deletelaws.com. So you'll get an extra trifold and you'll get a pair of 5A cop cards today, Friday. I may run a similar special tomorrow on Saturday. I have so I have a huge day tomorrow. Tomorrow's lawyer prep day for my trial in Las Vegas on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I have trial. They're charging me for obstructing that pig and resisting the pig in March of 2023. They're trying me. That carries a six-month jail sentence. So if you're in the Las Vegas area or in Southern California or Utah and you can make it down on the 19th, I would really appreciate it if you guys could come. Look at the shadow ban. Look at the shadow ban. That won't last long because my trial is going to blow that up. It's going to blow it up. Buy one, get one free today. Trifolds. Go to deletelaws.com. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free today. Deletelaws.com with a Z. And as you guys know, we have every size hoodie in. You also get a trifold and a cop car with the hoodie. You can get this right here, especially if you're in New York City and you realize, oh, my God, someone just came up with a solution. You mean we get to keep our Fourth Amendment and we have rights protectors who are not pigs? Yeah. Yeah. You could put you could put. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's get there, Pastor Eric. Let's get there. Let, let's build a following here. But, you know, as long as we're still on YouTube and social media, they can they can do anything they want to the account. New member, everybody. New member, Too Fast Hood 90s. New member. Everybody, welcome Too Fast Hood. Appreciate it. <laughs> if you need it, yeah. 
Um, so if I get a trifold and a hoodie, do I get double free cards? Absolutely, dude. Just so you guys know, if you ask me for anything, I'll give it to you. The the if 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 you ask me for anything, King Braveheart with ten more memberships. If you ask me for anything, I'll give it to you. Just just so you know, you know I do ho appreciate you buying my products, but. Besides the hoodies that I'm 35, 40 bucks into them by the time they're done printed with travel and shipping. Besides the hoodies, and even then, I'll still sell them at cost to people if I have some in for cost. But when you buy a hoodie from me, there's a note section that you can fill out. And you can just say, so yesterday we shipped off like a dozen hoodies and people asked for extra stuff. Every single person who asked me, hey, one person said, hey, Chili, I have three kids. I gave you three trifolds for your three kids. You got the hoodie, I gave you three trifolds with your order. Another person said, hey, I've got, I need two extra sets of cop cards. I gave you two extra sets of cop cards. Put them in an envelope because your hoodie was already packed and we mailed them to you. So everybody who asked me for extra stuff, they get it. They get it. <laughs> uh, Mark, I, I am not a millionaire. I am not a millionaire. I'm not even close. I'm not even a hundred thousand dollar heir. I'm not even <laughs> the hoodie is top of the line quality, the absolute best hoodie you will ever buy. It really is. I did not skimp a step. I did the best printing. I did I, I got the best hoodie. I and I got the best printing on it. So check this out. This is Marion County Sheriff's Office and the Good Citizens Dash Cam. Who has a dash cam? Everybody has a dash cam, right? Who uses their phone like a ninja warrior? How about this? Put a one in the chat if you have a trifold, if you have a pair of cop cards. Put a one in the chat if you have. And then King Braveheart with the 50th gift membership today. King Braveheart, you're awesome. King Braveheart, you are awesome. I salute you, Patriot. Thank you so much. King Braveheart is down for Team DLZ. Thank you. So and there's 10 more right there. Jiminy Crickets. Jiminy Crickets. King Braveheart is the man. Well, what if King Braveheart's a woman? Ooh, we never thought about that, did we? King Braveheart could be a woman. How do we know? Chevy! Thank you. I appreciate it. So check this out. This good Samaritan right here catches the cops shooting somebody. There's no sound on this, so hold tight for one second. See, sound is turned all the way up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Check this out. So there's the copper right there. Flashes lights on. You see that? When you see a cop. Oh, this is not the Good Samaritan one. This is the dash cam of the pig one. Sorry about that. So we've got him boxed in in the field out here. One there, two shots fired, shots fired. Did you, did you hear that? D listen carefully, you're going to hear the shots fired. One there, two, we've got him boxed in in the field out here. F shot number one. One there, two shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. Lots of shots fired. They're just shooting like crazy. Moving up with it, moving up. Move, moving up, moving up. That's military talk right there. Moving up, moving up. Moving up with it, moving up. 
One or two, give me a code nine. Yeah, that that is just so effective, screaming like a bunch of freaking morons. Get out of the court! Didn't you guys just shoot him ten times? Doesn't Richard Myers die? Bro, out. And see your right hand. See your right hand. Where's the body cam of the dash cam of the up close? Put your right hand up. Put your right hand up. What? You shot me. I can't put my hand up. I'm shot. What? You shot it off. So this guy just walks across, doesn't puts his hand gun down. He's not afraid at all. But these two pigs right here, they're still trained in, man. You know, watch this pig right here. He's got his gun. He says, you shot it off. You shot my hand off. So he puts his gun away and just walks away. These other two pigs are acting like they're in Fallujah. Hands up now! I can't put my hand up. I've been shot. What is this idea? What is this idea? Thank you, King Braveheart. I appreciate it. What is this idea? Sorry about that. That someone who's been shot still is some sort of Vietnamese Viet Cong where they've got a suicide vest on. What is this kind of bullshit idea that after someone's shot, they want to kill the cops? It's just a load of shit. It's the training. More training. That is what they train them to believe. That after someone's shot and they're, you can, the distress in his voice, man, I can't raise my hand. That really... He's got a 45-inch butcher knife under his jacket, and he's looking to stab the cop in the throat. What a load of shit on a stick. What a load of shit. They're acting like this guy is Viet Cong in Vietnam. It is such bullshit. Render aid. Render aid. He puts his gun away. And says what? Listen. So listen to what this cop over here says. I'm gonna have to go ahead and get up there. To render aid. Okay. No one's in the car. Okay. No, no one's in the car. No one else. Just him. We got shield. We got shield. Why do you need a shield? Nobody wants to kill you, pigs. Nobody is, 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 <coughs> nobody has, nobody has a knife or a, 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 no one's wearing a suicide vest after you shot them a bunch of times, okay? Get your hand up. He says, get me out. Get me out. Get your hand up. And they reply with, we're scared. Get your hand up. Let us see your hands. I need out. Let us see your hands. He just said you shot my hand off. I can't raise it up. <laughs> Let me see your fucking hand, dude. Could you imagine for a moment that they've shot this man and he's got his fingers in the bullet holes. He's holding the bullet hole so it doesn't just start gashing out blood. The other hand is in the other bullet hole where he's shot in the arm, shot in the chest, shot in the back, shot in the neck maybe, and he's got a hand like this trying to make sure the blood doesn't drip out of him and die. The other, the other copper puts his gun away and says, I'm going to render aid. Why isn't he rendering aid? He's sitting there groaning in pain. Hands. Yeah. All out. hands are empty. His hands are empty. All out. I can't. You shot him a bunch of times, you dumb pigs. We want to get you help, man. You got to work with us. You work with you? You're the guy that shot him a bunch of times just now. What the hell are you talking about, work with you? What the hell are you even talking about? 
Both his hands are empty, guys. Okay. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? My dog. Where's the gun? It's in the car. Okay. Hey, don't pull it out. Get your hand out. I can't breathe. Hey, lay your stomach. We'll come up there and we'll help you. You guys listen to us. Keep your hands up. One, zero, two. Suspect is on the ground. We're on, on, getting him detained. Stand, stand by. Stand I can't breathe. Get your hands out in front of you. I can't breathe. I'm dying. Yo, no, 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 Put your hand down. So we can start shooting back behind the car. He said the gun's in the car. He just crawled out. You just saw the movement. Watch between their legs right here. Watch right here. There he is right there. He's on the ground right there. And they're so scared. They're all still pointing guns at him. Hand down. So we can start shooting back behind the car. Okay, let's get let's move back a little bit. No more left. Coming, 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 coming. Okay, I got no I got no visual on him. He's right there. I got a visual on it. They're hiding behind the car. Just stay right there. What did he say? Just stay right here. Yeah, just you just lifted. We're trying to get a shield here. He's not super compliant. Get on the cloud. 40. How close so you can put him in torture cuffs and he can bleed out? 40. I got, I got, I got, where at? Then lay in your stomach. Put your hands out. We'll oh, come out there and help you. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Put a one in the chat if they're not going to come up there and help him. Put a one in the chat if they are not going to help him. If they're going to put him in torture cuffs. If they're going to put him in torture cuffs. Uh, His left hand is like gone. His right hand is right. Uh, in. Get both your hands out. Both, both your hands. Do it now. And lay down your hands up. Yeah, scream at the guy who's got the panic in his voice and said he's dying. Do it now. Lay out. Lay it out. Uh, both hands. Hand. Now, both and hands. look at this big dude right here. He's still got a gun pointed at the guy. This big, this great, the biggest dude on the scene. He's like six, 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 seven. He's still got a gun pointed at the guy, all locked up on him. Okay, broken. Put your he hand. says he can't. It's broken. Both your hands. Do it now. And lay down. Put your hands up. Uh, both both hands. hands. Now, both hands. Okay, broken. Put can't. It's broken. Put your hand up over your head. I can't. He said it 10 times now. How many times have I stopped it and said, he's screaming, he can't. His hand is broken. Oh, your left hand and your right hand. Okay. His, he's been shot. You shot him a bunch of times, pig. That is clear. Let's just go. Okay. Let's just go. And this guy's coming, running up and grabbing his gun. Move up slow. Shield first. Shield first. Lay down. Lay down. Just stay. He's crying. He's crying. He's crying, sobbing. Somebody hold on the car. Got car, got car. Got car, got car. <laughs> you bunch of coward bitches. Really, really. My sister's tougher than all of you. My sister is tougher than all those cops on the scene. I, 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 Javro, where you been, brother? Missed you, man. Javro 5504K is in here. My sister is tougher than every pig on the scene. Everybody, welcome Javro 504K. Oh my God, what a bunch of coward bitches these pigs are, really. Just I'm on the right side. Keep your hands up. Up on the right hand. Somebody hold on the car. Got car. Got car. Got car. Got car. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me put it in perspective. I'm sorry. Let me put it in perspective for the bitches watching this. For all you jackboot thug pig little bitches, there's someone in the car, okay, that with eight cops coming up with their guns drawn, they're going to come out of there 
and go blaze it out in a blaze of glory. And they have the idea that they're going to kill all you pigs. I got the car. I got the car. I got the car. I got the car. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? I will change the police policies from the top down. There'll be none of this shit. This is bad leadership, bad policy. You're seeing it right here. The guy's crying he needs help. Got car, got car. Dude, lay down like a dog. Shouldn't You should just lay down like a dog. We shot you. Now lay down. Keep your hands up. Somebody hold on the car. Got car, got car. Got car. Oh, you got the pro. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Somebody got a gun in there? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I've got something. Yeah, it's going to be a pistol. Okay. Oh my God, are we trying to get ready? He's crying. Uh -huh. 102, incoming can reduce. Same one have him in custody. Uh -huh. You got him in custody? Why did you got him on a gurney, bro? Why don't you have help for him? You got him in custody, do you? Let's see the standard of care. Let's see if there's going to be any standard of care. <laughs> the man has 15 bullets in him. Dispatch the suspect's not super compliant. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. They were saying, put your hands up, even though they know they shot his arm. He's not super compliant. Not compliant. He's fucking dying. None of them. None of them. It's sad. This is, th it is sad. This is my family that was shot by Salem PD. All he needed was a little help. There were three other times we, he was asking for help once in December and two days before this happened. And he was discarded. There needs to be more mental health services for people like my cousin that needed, he's dead, help not to be shot. We all miss him very much. To everyone out there, be careful if you have a cell phone in your hand and a cop thinks it's a gun. And he feels and he feels that his life is in danger. They'll just shoot you and ask questions later. Casey Cook, 1806. Yep. Was his name Richard Myers? Sorry about that. Name was Richard Myers. Wow.
I mean, I mean, there it is right there. You guys, you guys see it right there. They murder people's family. They, they murder family members. They murder your family and then they justify their actions and say it's in the name of officer safety. Killers that walk, still walk free. Execution. You can hear them laugh. He's yelling his dog. These devils killed his dog. He couldn't put his hands up. Oh, the dog was killed too. All over an air pistol. As if he pointed at them. Wouldn't, wouldn't his own dash cam show it? And where is that footage? All sounds very suspicious. Yep. Oh, here's the cop sucker. Here, Oh, here... Here's the cop sucker right here. Oh, you're so full of shit, bro. There's no evidence he pointed a pistol at him. It's hearsay by the cop who opened fire on a man and his dog while they remained in the car. Police knew he had an air pistol due to a previous run-in. They knew it was an air pistol before they even got to the vehicle. The thing is, they're not going to wait and see if it's an air pistol. If you point at a cop, you'll get shot. Right. Right. There. I mean, I mean, look, just, just, just. Okay, just take a look at the comment, okay? Now, let me explain what leadership is. Leadership is where you create a policy that says you can't shoot until you're shot at first. Being a policeman, being a rights protector is a dangerous job, and it should be, because you're willing to be shot at first before you shoot at somebody. These are the rules of engagement that we have all over the world and countries all over the world that the military personnel cannot shoot at someone unless they're shot at first. The policy here is that if you even point an air rifle at someone, an air, an air pistol at someone, that the cops can murder you. That's policy. That is instilled by the mayor of New York City or the governor. That's where it comes from. Policy. So if there was a policy that you cannot shoot unless you're shot at, then, then Richard Myers would not be dead. This is a leadership problem in our country. And Kathy Holcomb, you're no leader. You're no leader, Kathy. You've put the National Guard there to, to strip us of our Fourth Amendment right. Not to put National Guardsmen in the trailers, not in the, in the subway cars, not to put a digital system in place where they push a panic button if there's a fight or a shooting in that particular car. If someone points a gun at me, oh, I didn't see Javro's comment. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. Ghost has got absolutely sadistic serpent sea demons with their five pointed telegram pentagram star proudly on their bird chest. You got it straight up right there. Straight up right there. Brick, Chevy, Wanda. Good to see everybody. Uh, Wanda, shoot me a text. Let me know if you want to have, have a chat, man. I don't want to bug you. So if you want to if you want to have a chat, let, let me know. Drophead 74. Yeah. The Citizens Broadcast Cooperative. Oh, yeah. So, you know, just so you guys know, Drophead74 is a huge contributor. He's like, he's he's just one of the big donors. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I do not downgrade anybody's donation of $5 or $10. I do not downgrade anybody's donation. If you can only give $1, Joe Lee yesterday gave a dollar and said, keep up the fight, Chili. Thank you, Joe Lee. Marcus gave a dollar yesterday. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate you, dude. Drophead74 has the means to be a big donor. And thank you for your donation, Drophead. I appreciate it. Big supporter. Big, huge supporter. Yeah. Yeah, I know it. OTVO. OTV. Paul Trickett. Paul Trickett is a donator. Pa Paul's not rich. I mean, I'm not calling you out or anything, Paul. I guess I am a little bit. But Paul's not rich. But every single fundraiser that I have, Paul Trickett. And there's a constant fundraiser going on right now. We can't stop until we get to the $6,000. Here is the Benmo PayPal cash up. Please, if you have $5, $10, if you're thinking to go to McDonald's tomorrow, please don't eat fast food. It's garbage. But if you can spare 5 bucks, 10 bucks, we got to raise $6,000 for Press with Ranker's attorney. There's a Zelle on there. It pops up as Ethics SCS, the name of my company. I'll soon have a nonprofit in place. So please, if you can donate $5, $10, $15, we are paying for Press with Ranker's attorney. And Press with Ranker is a freedom fighter, a total and complete freedom fighter. Let's read a couple more of these comments. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. Where's the proof he pointed the gun at a pig? 
This is pure disgusting. They killed his dog and him. An air pistol, and you killed him for it. We need a revolution. Please do not go to violence. I, 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 I am not. You know, if, if you guys go to violence, they'll blame me. They'll say that Chile did this, that I led a violent revolution. That's what they'll say. So please, I beg you, do not go to violence. Please do not attack people. Do not go to violence. I, I beg you. They'll put the blame on me if you're wearing a Team DLZ hoodie and you go and attack a cop. And also, there are pigs who are disgusting jackboot thug pigs today that tomorrow they may not be. I do not wish these cops death. I hate you filthy pigs. I still don't wish you death. I do not promote or advocate for violence. I don't think you should turn around and just go, okay, I'll turn around and put my hands behind my back. No, I think you should let them attack you. Get it on camera. Lightly, ever so slightly, just say, I'm not going to agree to being put in torture cuffs. And then let us see them attack you. Be willing to take a little bit. But I've never said to, to fight a cop. I've, and I never will. I never will. I hate pigs. I hope someday that we can, that when I'm the leader and I'm the mayor of New York City or the governor of California or New Jersey or Florida, wherever I decide to run, that I'll change the policies from the top down. But none of those policies will, will include killing anybody or hurting anybody. Look at all those pigs. She said, who are you protecting and serving? All is over this little girl, though? All is over little girl, though? All this over here? I'm on the sidewalk, though. Like, I'm confused. Like, the little girl. There's like, there's like fucking 50 police here for a little girl. I'm like, really, I'm lost. Why there's so many police for this little girl, though, man? We've already seen that they're all scared. They're afraid that after that you're shot, that you're going to pull out a grenade. Michael Dolan. But, but, but no, but, but the, all this for this little girl. There's like 50 police out here. It's just a little girl, dog. We gotta clear out the station, okay? Like I don't understand, though. Why are they taking her away? I don't I don't really understand why they're snatching her away. This is San Diego pigs. So so there's the thing right there. You know, and I've said this a hundred times and I'll say it again. When I'm governor, you're not going to be drug off to a dungeon for if you're a nonviolent person who can be calmed down. Even if you've had a fist fight with another guy or another woman, you may not have to be drug off to the dungeon. We'll do the fingerprinting right there on the street. Fingerprinting. We'll do the picture of your mugshot right there on the street. I'm going to kill the prison industry which is why I'm so shadow banned, which is why the numbers have been cut by 60% in just a couple days. Just a couple days. The numbers have been cut by 60%. Why do you think that is? How come you think that is? Why do you think that is? I mean, it's up to you. But there's no reason this woman needs to be drug off to a cage. There's no reason we need to spend money to have that pig waste their time taking that woman to a cage. She's not so violent that she's hurting people. She's not destroying property and won't stop. It's a money thing. You're like money. You are money, baby. You're money. You're money. You are absolutely money to them. You're money. You, your body, your car, 
is worth money by putting you in the dungeon. That's what you're seeing here. Hey, tell them they're taking me. They're taking me. And look at these guys think that they're good people. These guys think that look at this pig back here. Look at him. Hey, why ain't the police handling that one? Um, so, oh, is that right? Why there's so many police over one little girl? So there, there it is, right there. You're you're hearing it from Ghostly World, right there. I'm so confused why there's so many police over one little girl. Oh, because they're all scared, brother. So Ghostly World has been unsubscribed from three of the channels, from American Patriot Forever, from DLZ Clips, and DLZ Main. That I am not I am not shocked at all. OTVO. Javro, there you are. What is going on? Good to see you, Javro. Missed you, man. Where you been, dude? Where you been? Missed you, man. Totally missed you. Uh, Javro had a death in the family, everybody. Somebody very close to him passed. So if you're a praying person... You know, throw one up for Javro. Major loss in in his life. I've talked to Javro on the phone a couple times, and um, sorry to hear it, buddy. You know, from 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 me to you, I'm really sorry that that you've lost a loved one, and it's and it's a big one, guys. It's a big one. He lost a big one. So, you know, without getting to Javro's personal business, he can get into his own personal business, but. Uh, you know, I know who you lost and, and I'm sorry, buddy. I, I think about myself to be honest, because we're all self, we're all selfish. Everybody's selfish. Thomas Hobbes says that you don't do anything for anybody but yourself. So I would hope that if I lost somebody as close to me as Javro lost somebody, that someone would just take a moment to recognize the pain that Javro is going through. He's been gone for a little while and I understand why he was gone. He went through something really horrific. So, real quick, God bless you, brother. God bless your family. Good luck on your journey. <sighs> All right. Bring it up a little bit. Everybody hit the like button, if you would, please, for Javro. God bless you, brother. Everybody hit the like button. Put in the comment section, O-T-V-O. Javro lost somebody really close to him. And... Let you know, I'm I'm doing a fundraiser as you guys know for Press with Ranker. Press with Ranker was arrested and charged with a felony of obstructing. Now he got a felony when he was 19 years old. When the cops beat him up that time, framed him and gave him a felony when he was 19. So Press with Ranker hates cops because of how badly he's been treated by these pigs. So let me show you a little bit of the reason why we're doing a fundraiser for Press with Ranker. You got a driver's license on you? Identify yourself. Uh, State Police of Michigan. Now remember, he has not been pulled over. What's your name and employee number? They stopped him for no reason. They just walked up to his car. Trooper Lemire. Employee number. Whose daddy is a pig. Just like Todd Tardiff is the chief of pigs and his son Cole Tardiff is the one who arrested Pre Press with Ranker. This guy's daddy was the chief of a different pig shack. Like badge number? Employee number. Spit it out. 1714. What do you want? I need a driver's license. For? For Why are you? Traffic stop. This is not a traffic stop. Yes, it is. Okay, what are you stopping me for? When I run the plate, it says it's got no insurance. Bullshit. Well, can I? Do you have proof of that? How did you run my plates when you're in front of me? Because I ran your plates. I ran your pr plates prior to stopping you. Why didn't you stop me when you ran them and seen that there was no insurance? Because you already stopped. You already parked your vehicle. I need your supervisor. For what? Get your supervisor out here. So this is after several times that Press with Ranker has filmed the the pigs on that peninsula. I'm like pork 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 porky pig over here. I can't get can't, can't can't get the words out. So Press with Ranker has filmed the pigs on this peninsula in the upper peninsula upper peninsula of Michigan, and now they're targeting him. For what? 
I'm done speaking with you. Get your supervisor out here. I need your driver's license, sir. Get your supervisor out here. I need your driver's license. For what crime? For the traffic stop I just conducted. Am I free to go? There's no traffic stop, you liar. No, you're not free to go. Why am I being detained? You're not being detained. Then I'm free to go. You're not free to go because I'm making a traffic stop. Why am I being detained? Because I'm making a traffic stop, sir. Why am I being detained? Because I made a traffic stop. You're not providing your driver's license or any information. This is not a traffic stop. It is a traffic stop. No, it's not. You're in front of me. You blocked me when I'm going back to work. You're fucking with me. I need your supervisor. I'm not screwing with you. I'm making a traffic Call stop. your supervisor out. Oh, yeah? Then why are you going to reverse yourself here in a second, you lying pig? It's your policy to call your supervisor when one is requested. I don't think we have a supervisor on duty right now, sir. But well, you better find one. Do you have any idea on you, sir? I need to speak to your supervisor. Regarding what? Your conduct. Of what? Your conduct. What do you mean my conduct? This bullshit. Get your supervisor out here. There's not one on duty right now. Call a superior. So here's the million dollar question. We're at two minutes and 51 seconds. Can they pull you over? Can they pull you over? Can they just, the 2020 case of Kansas versus Glover, the arguments were in 2019. The 2020 case of Kansas versus Glover says, while on patrol, a Kansas pig ran a registration on a pickup truck with a Kansas license plate. Upon running the check, the pig learned that the truck, the driver of the truck, Charles Glover, and his license had been revoked. Acting on a suspicion that the owner was unlawfully operating his vehicle based on the assumption that the, based on the assumption that the registered owner of the truck was also the driver, the pig stopped the truck. The officer confirmed that Glover was the driver and issued him a citation for being a habitual Kansas motor vehicle offender. Glover moved to suppress all evidence from the stop, arguing that the stop violated his Fourth Amendment right against unreasonable searches and seizures. According to Glover, the police lacked reasonable suspicion to pull him over. The state argued that a pig officer ha may infer that the owner of the vehicle is the one driving, absent of information to the contrary. And the knowledge that the owner has revoked license combined with the inferences gives rise to reasonable suspicion to conduct an investigatory stop. The state trial court concluded that it is not reasonable for a pig to infer that the registered owner of the vehicle is also the driver and granted Glover's motion to suppress. The appellate court reversed and the Kansas State Supreme Court granted review. The Supreme Court reversed the lower court. The Kansas State Supreme Court reversed the lower court, holding that the inference impermissibly stacked assumptions and would relieve the state of its burden of showing reasonable suspicion for a stop. The constitutional question, for purposes of an investigative stop under the Fourth Amendment, is it reasonable for a pig to suspect that the registered owner of a vehicle is the one driving the vehicle absent of any information to the contrary? No, it's not unreasonable. When a pig lacks information to the contrary, it is reasonable under the Fourth Amendment for the pig to assume the driver of the vehicle is the owner. And if the owner's license is revoked to conduct an investigative stop of the vehicle, justice racist who hates black people, Clarence Thomas, wrote in the opinion eight to one under the Fourth Amendment, a pig may make a brief investigatory traffic stop when he has a particularized and objective basis to suspect legal wrongdoing. Now it's applying to us. Courts must permit officers to use common sense to make judgments and inferences about human behavior. Well, who are the people signing up to be pigs that are making common sense judgments and inferences? In this case, the pig 
common sense inference that the vehicle owner was most likely the driver, which provided sufficient suspicion to stop the vehicle. It does not matter that a vehicle's driver is all is not always its registered owner. The pig's judgment was based on common sense judgment and experience. Thus, he had reasonable suspicion and the traffic stop did not violate the Fourth Amendment. Justice Elena Kagan, who's supposed to be a liberal, authored a concurring opinion in which Ruth Bader Ginsburg, piece of shit racist as well. Oh, by the way, I hate to tell you this, but this man right here, Charles Glover, he was black. Justice Elena Kagan authored a concurring opinion in which Ruth Bader Ginsburg joined to point out that the license revocation alert does not end the inquiry. In a similar setting with slightly different facts, there may not be reasonable suspicion. Piece of shit Kagan specifically described that most license suspensions as opposed to revocations do not relate to driving at all, but highly correlate with poverty. But she still voted for it. She pointed out that it has to do with poverty, but she still voted that you can be pulled over. The only one with sense, Sonia Mayor, authored a dissenting opinion, arguing that the court's decision ignores key foundations of our reasonable suspicion jurisprudence, of our key foundations of Terry versus Ohio, and impermissibly and unnecessarily reduces the state's burden of proof. Sonia Mayor disagreed with the majority's conclusion that seizing the vehicle was constitutional because drivers with revoked licenses in Kansas have demonstrated a disregard for the law, arguing that the conclusion flips the burden of proof of innocent until proven guilty until guilty till you prove yourself innocent. Get your light out of my eyes. Then. It's not in your ear. There's not one on duty right now. Call a superior. Um, I, I'm going to go with, I, I know what she said. I know what she said about the jab, but currently Sonia Mayor is the only one who's standing up for the Fourth Amendment. Read Utah versus Streif, 2013, 2006. Utah versus Streif. I'll look real quick. I can't remember the year. Two thousand sixteen. I was combining two thousand six and two thousand thirteen, and really it was two thousand sixteen. Okay, I have someone coming, sir. You're dismissed. What? You're dismissed. From what? Go away in your car. I'll speak to the supervisor. I'm done talking to you. Okay, well, I'm just going to stay right here. Get your light out of my eyes, then. What's that? Get your light out of my eyes, then. It's not in your eyes. See, they're they're trying to bully him because he's called them out a dozen times on camera and embarrassed them. He doesn't have hundreds of thousands or millions of views on his videos, but the people who covered his videos did get those views. So this pig right here, whose daddy was the chief, and now he's a pig, they were embarrassed by Press With Rancor. So is there any reason why your plate or your vehicle comes back to no insurance? He's lying. I don't answer questions. I'll try, Brian. I'll, ch I'll check your name.
just imagine you're the one sitting in the car and there's a pig outside your window and you, you're being detained for no reason after you film them. Imagine it's you in the car. Put yourself in that situation. He's done nothing wrong. The pig is making up that his insurance didn't come back. It's a lie. And the pig will actually break himself in a moment. And we know he's lying then. Press with Ranker is here, everybody. Welcome, Press. Let me drop the link for your channel in the chat so we can get some people to subscribe. Thanks for coming by, Press. This is the man that you're donating the funds for, you guys. Thank you for coming, Press. There's a link for, for this video for Press with Ranker. Get over there and subscribe to his channel. Imagine it's you. Instead, they're trying to ruin or end my life for him filming them. That's what we're talking about today. Welcome, Press. Thanks for coming. Going up to a minute now of no communication with a pig standing outside your window, flashing a light in your window. Wow, almost over a minute just sitting there with a pig standing outside your window. How scared would you be? I mean, really, how, how intimidated would you be? He knows he has no probable cause. You got five minutes. For what? From when you fucking stopped me. Five minutes. Conduct your fucking stop. They better be here soon. Two minutes with no talking. You just want me to leave then, sir? No, you know you're fucked up now. Aha! You're man. lying. There it is, folks! There it is! There it is! If this pig had a legitimate reason to stop press with rancor, he wouldn't say, do you just want to leave? He wouldn't say that, would he? They better be here soon. You just want me to leave then, sir? What? What are you talking about? This is a legitimate traffic stop, right? Then why would you say do you just want me to leave? Oh, because you manufactured some bullshit. You manufactured that he didn't have insurance. As he's an activist and an auditor on a peninsula. That's a... A body of land surrounded on three parts with water. So on the peninsula that's surrounded with water, where he's an activist, he's the auditor, where his vi videos are seen millions of times. And this cop has been posterized along with Todd Tardiff and Cole Tardiff and the piece of shit Paige Tardiff who works in the prosecutor's office. Cole is the daddy pig. I'm sorry. Cole. So Todd Tardiff was the chief of police. Cole Tardiff was the canine pig. And then little sister, Paige Tardiff, works in the prosecutor's office. The three of them colluded together with the, what, they, what is his name? Letard, Le, 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 Lebertard, whatever his name is. He's the son. His daddy was the chief of police of another pig shack. And now this dumb pig shows his hand. Press with Raker has told him, you have no reason to pull me over. And this dumb fucking Pig shows his hand. Better be here soon. Okay. You just want me to leave then, sir? No, we don't. We want you to uphold the rights of Americans. 
We don't want you to hassle and harass and charge a man with felonies who's done nothing wrong to anybody other than film you and you don't like it. How about that? No, you know you're fucked up now. Okay, well, my- you're lying. You just ran the fucking plate again. I'm putting a complaint in on you. But your fucking good. supervisor is going to come here. Not going to okay, do any good. His way. Okay. No, it's not okay. Not at all. Yeah, you're harassing him. And who do you complain to? There's no third party. That's a, that's a reflection. You see how insecure he is? There's the pig there. There's the reflection in the in the main window in the windshield right there. You can see how insecure this pig is. He's looking for somebody to help him out of this jam. How about you get that fucking light out of my eyes now? You can do that for me. Okay, I can do that. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, hey, Brendan, we only time out piece of shit trolls who come in here and don't understand. Bre- Brennan, Metzger, we don't want to time you out. I want you to pull your phone out, Brennan. That's what I want you to do. And I want you to donate five bucks right now, Brennan. That's what I want you to do. I don't want to time you out. I want everybody to participate. With thousands of people who watch this video right there, I just put the the Venmo Cash App and PayPal up there. What I want you to do, Brennan, is I want you to donate five or ten bucks to the guy's fund. If you don't want to give it to me, press with Ranker GoFundMe. We'll find his GoFundMe. Put five bucks in there. I want you to take seriously that a man is being charged with a felony and you can see that they're targeting him. That's what I want you to do, Brennan. It's not a game. Time out, Brennan. Oh, I'm going to say this. Oh, I'm going to say that. I'm going to get timed out. I'm not timed out. Are you blocked? I'm not blocked. I want you to take seriously that you can see that they're harassing him and targeting him. And I want you to take seriously that he's charged with a felony. And I want you to take seriously that he's looking at a year in prison for doing nothing other than filming these dirty jackboot thug pigs. That's what I want, Brennan. I don't give a flying fuck about timing out and blocking and trolls. and eh, eh, eh. I don't care. I care that you pull your damn phone out and you send five or ten bucks in to pay for the guy's lawyer. Because it's real, dude. It's real. It's not a I got timed out game. Oh, I'm going to go in there and fuck with Chili when he's on his job. If you're watching this and you're that kind of person, you are a piece of shit. Press with Ranker and I have spent hours and hours and hours in person together and on the phone talking about how serious this is that he's looking at going to prison for filming a cop with a phone for filming a cop with a phone that he's being pulled over and targeted as he sits there doing nothing and the pig makes up that he doesn't have insurance brennan that's what i want you to take seriously I want you to fucking focus, bro. Not leave some, oh, I think I'll say this and see if I get timed out. I don't give a shit if you get timed out. And as you're sitting in timeout, open up your phone, open up your cash app, your PayPal, your Venmo, and send the guy five or ten dollars. Why don't you do that? Why don't you show that you're not just a piece of shit who's trolling, that you're a good person, that you care about others? Why don't you try that? If you can't tell, Brennan, I'm not, I'm not joking, bro. Can you tell? Do, do, do I look like I'm joking? You think I'm not serious here? I signed a contract that said I'd pay 60,000 bucks. You think I'm kidding? Does it seem like a joke to you? Ha ha, funny, funny. That's what I want you to do, Brennan. That's what I want you to do, buddy.
Look, it's real. Not better. I don't answer questions. There it is. And now he says, I plead the Fifth Amendment because we all learned together during this channel's inception and rise that the 2013 case of Salinas versus Texas, the black robe tyrants said that you have to actually say, Fifth Amendment, I invoke my Fifth Amendment. We learned that on this channel. I can show you the case law, but I want you to show you the persecution and the wrongful pullover and the wrongful prosecution of Garrett Van Nett, a real man who was torture cuffed and taken to a dungeon and charged with a felony. That's what I want you to focus on. I've shown 2013 Salinas versus Texas. You have to say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Do you believe me? I promise, I swear to God that that's the truth. Listen close, I hope that you teach them. Listen close, I hope that you teach them. My friends still think that saying I don't answer questions still works. 2013, Salinas versus Texas. What timestamp are we on in the video? We're at 10 minutes and 12 seconds in. Long standing judicial precedent has held that any witness desires. Protection against self-incrimination must explicitly state that claim. Two exceptions to the principle that a criminal defendant does not need to take the stand in order to explicitly claim the privilege of invoking your Fifth Amendment right. That failure to claim this privilege must be excused when it was due to government coercion. Long-standing precedent. Any witnesses who desires protection against self-incrimination must explicitly claim that protection. You have to say, you have to say the actual magic words. I invoke my Fifth Amendment. You have to say the words. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Then you say, I don't answer questions. Then if he asks you anything else, you can show him. I don't ask me where I'm coming from. Don't ask me where I'm going. Don't ask me where I've been. That's what I'm talking about. Happy Cow just threw in five bucks. Thanks, Happy Cow. I'll put that directly toward press with Ranker. We're at 10 minutes into this video. There's the 10-minute mark. He's just holding him unlawfully. He's detaining him illegally. They're targeting him for what? Because he films the cops on that peninsula. Captain Blackbeard, there's never been a reason for you ever to be put in timeout. You're not here to play games. I see you fighting in the comments. Blackbeard is very serious. He fights the trolls in the comments. Thank you. Don't shine me. that shit at my camera. It's called prior restraint. What's that? So don't shine that at my camera. It's called prior restraint. I wasn't shining at your camera. Well, put it down. You just had it off. Turn it back off. It was, I turned it off because it's hot. You can turn it back on. Right, but you know he is an activist. He is an auditor. There's never been an auditor in the history of filming police who have pulled out a gun and started shooting the police. That has never, ever, ever happened. He's on a peninsula. He's known throughout the country. Now he flashes the light at him again. You watch this. You can turn it back on. And then he puts the light in his face right at the camera. You see it. Stop because it's hot. You can turn it back on. Dude, you are such an asshole pig. Do you know that? You are such an asshole pig. Thank you, April, for being a member for eight months. What a piece of shit pig. 
What a put it in the chat. Jack boot thug pig. Jack boot J B T P. What a freaking pig. Thanks. I appreciate the super chat. Thanks a lot, Tom, for press with ranker. Press every single super chat. Every single donation goes to you, my friend, until we fi- until we finish paying off your attorney. We got to get this attorney paid off. Put the light in his eyes and then walked away. Now he goes up there to the car where there's more, more light pointing at him. And he's done absolutely nothing wrong. Just imagine it was you. Imagine this was you for one second. I'd be so pissed off. Oh, we're going to sue them. We got to get through the criminal case first. We are going to sue them. Pistol P. Rex, Drophead74. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, too. Gloria's here. Thank you, Gloria, for coming. Chevy put some song lyrics together. One angry goy deprivation of rights under the color of law is punishable by death. Pretty serious crime. Happy cow again with another donation. (laughs) Yeah. If you got a couple bucks, if you got five bucks or ten bucks, you can spare it. Remember, The reason why I'm only asking you for five or 10 bucks, I'm just saying five or $10. And and the reason why I'm doing that is because I only need to collect five or $10 from each person who watches this video. If you're watching this video tomorrow and you're listening to this, pull your phone out, send in five or 10 bucks right now. It goes to me and my PayPal Venmo cash app. I've signed a contract. It's on my community tab in the next week or two. We'll have that nonprofit. Finally, pray to God. I hope. But there's also a GoFundMe for Press with Ranker where you can put five or ten dollars into that. If every person who watches this video puts in five or ten dollars, twenty dollars, if you if you're one of these people of, of means, the people in the chat, you know who they are, then you could put in a hundred. But let's get this man's attorney paid for. Let's help him. Nobody was helping him. I, I talked to him on the phone. He was just distraught, facing felonies. For what? For for what? That's why I'm not asking you, hey, give me your life savings. I'm saying $5 or $10. I'm not saying you should go and smash your piggy bank. No, you got five bucks on your cash card. You got 10 bucks in your bank account right now. That if right now, if you took a $10 bill and dropped it down a, a drainage ditch, if you lost 10 bucks right this second, could you get over it? If the answer is yes, then pull out your phone right now and send me that 10 bucks. Now, do it now. Don't wait. Just do it. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate you, man. Use the Zelle or use the Cash App or PayPal to bomb. So that we can we, we can make sure this guy. By the way, he's got a top of the line attorney. He's got one of the best attorneys in all of Michigan. Thanks, April. Thanks, King Braveheart. Thanks, Shabindu. Thanks, Derek Blackmore. Thanks, Happy Cow. Thank you, GT One Thousand. Thank you, Tom Sanders. Thank you, April. Sent me a cash app yesterday for you, Press with Ranker. Yep, that's my name. Cash app's Jose DeCastro Scott. That's right. It's Jose DeCastro on my cash app, but it's it's Chili DeCastro is my is my cash app. My legal name is Jose DeCastro. Just imagine if that was you right now. And 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 remember, when I talked to Garrett, 
there was nobody helping him. All these activists, all these auditors had all taken his videos, all of them. San Joaquin Valley Transparency. I don't know who else. There, there was a bunch of people that did. I don't want to say any names who didn't, but I know San Joaquin Valley Transparency did. San Joaquin Valley Transparency, where are you, bro? He needs you now. You covered his video and you got hundreds of thousands of views on his video, San Joaquin. Where you at, bro? San Joaquin Valley, when you meet him in real life, he'll tell you how rich he is. I know that. I took him out to lunch. He took me out to lunch. We were friends until he betrayed me for no reason because I'm the leader and he doesn't like it. Well, let me tell you something. What I'm doing right now, San Joaquin Valley Transparency, I'm calling you out. You took this man's video. Go to his GoFundMe. Press with Ranker. GoFundMe. GoFundMe. Press with Ranker. Click on it, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Send in 500 bucks. When I met San Joaquin Valley Transparency, he told me how much money he was making, how he was rich. That's what he told me. You did, didn't you? How rich you are? You took this man's video and you got hundreds of thousands of views on his videos. San Joaquin, where you at? Where you at, bud? Where you at? San Joaquin Valley Transparency, where are you, bro? Where are you? Where you at, San Joaquin? Where you at, brother? You did take this guy's video. You did get hundreds of thousands of views on his video. So that means you made thousands of dollars. Where you at, San Joaquin? Just calling it as I see it, that's all. Thank you, End Qualified Immunity. Thank you, Jay Eldridge. Thank you, John L. Thank you, Jose. God bless you guys, man. God bless you. Thank you, Derek. I'm trying to find in qualified immunity here. There you are. Thank you, in qualified immunity. Free the American people and overhaul the whole corrupt injustice system. I promise you I will. Down, sir. Identify yourself. I can't hear you. Identify yourself. Trooper Edwards. Employee number. Employ I don't have an employee number. Don't be badge, cute. I have a badge number. Spit it out. 1064. This stop has already taken 15 minutes. Okay. That's not a reasonable amount of time. My he's lying. Okay. Can he's I already. Just nope. He's already run it twice. Realized he fucked up. Asked if he could leave. All right. I want a note of it. I want your information. Do you have an employee identification card? I have a, a, a little. Yes, card let's see it. That's let's want. see it. Both Did of them. Do you want a sticker on? Both or? of them. Give me your card. Give me his card. Did you want this? I let me see reason. the card. Just listen. Let me speak. Did let you, me see the card. Just let me speak. You're, let me see the card. Just. I just asked for the card. It's your policy I'll, to show. Me your card. It's How do I know you're a fucking employee? I will give you my. Just listen. I'll give you my card. Just listen. You don't have to stick around if you don't want to. Well, yeah, because it's an unlawful stop. He said a second ago that he was detained. He said he that he had pulled him over because he ran the license plate and there was no insurance. I guess that was a motherfucking lie. I guess the pigs lied. And now this guy's coming over to try to put on a good face. My, my understanding is I came because you were requesting a supervisor. A supervisor is not working right now. If you want to talk to a supervisor, there's one available tomorrow at 8 to 4 at the Gladstone Post. Yeah, we'll check that out in a second. That's all I'm here for. I can give you my card that's more than welcome. Let's see it. To hang around. What's that? Card. You want a card? Yeah, you can give me a paper card, but I need to see your employee identification card. There's no employee identification. Then card. give me your card. Give you a card. Go get a card. Give me his card too. I don't. I can't tell you if he can give you his give card. Give me the card. card. I can get you one. Just hang tight, right? He's already been hanging tight for 15 minutes.
19 minutes till the premiere on American Patriot. 19 minutes till the premiere on American Patriot. We're going to try to get to the other video. I may kick the premiere back because I want to show what's going on with Preston Franker. Yeah, you got that right. This is good cop, bad cop. Get that out of my face. What? Get your light out of my face. I'm just going to shine it down here. I got to see what you're doing, okay? Bullshit. Absolute and total bullshit. He's a known activist, a known auditor. You do not have to see what he's doing, you scared little bitch. You do not. He's not pulling a gun on you. You are such a scared little bitch. So you're free to leave? If I need want, his card. If you want to st if you want to file a complaint. Still got the light in his face. Still shining the light in his eyes. There's Garrett's face right there. Still shining the light in his face. Why? Give me tomorrow. a card. You have any questions for us? Yeah, why'd you illegally detain him? Why'd you lie and say you ran the plate and there's no insurance? Why'd you why'd you then collude with the other pigs to charge him with a felony? Why do we have to do a fundraiser for 60 grand because of you pigs? Let me tell you something, press. Let me tell you something, Garrett. Just so you know, buddy, after this, after this, because I have standing, you and I are going to sue these pigs. You and I are going to sue these pigs. You pigs up there on the peninsula are going to get sued. As is Lauren Wickman for malicious prosecution. You're going to be sued, Lauren Wickman. I highly suggest you back down. You're going to get sued and you deserve it. We're going to sue these pigs. We're going to get that $60,000 back. Take that. You can get it. I insist you fucking read that. You have any questions for us? Fuck off. Okay, you're all set. Have a good night. Fuck off. God bless it right. F off, pigs. Look, look at that. Pull right up to him. Put the lights on him. Look at the light in his face. See that big light in his face? So surely there's going to be justice here, right? Surely there's going to be, oh, sorry about that. Surely we're going to get justice here. So let's go here real quick. Let's go to videos, popular videos right here. I need some FOIA forms. FOIA, oh, yeah. okay. And then yeah. some officer complaint forms. Okay. So tell you what, I can direct you to MSP FOIA. What you're going to need to do is go to michigan.gov forward slash MSP. Here now. What's that? I said I'm here now. You can That's give the me the process. Forms. If you want to. You can print the forms out for me. I'm here There aren't right any now. printable forms. You were missed, Chevy. You were missed, buddy. We all missed you. So you're not refusing to give me a FOIA form or an officer complaint form? So we actually don't have those forms. They're maintained online. Okay, right. So I think what Dan Hanlon said, I think what Dan Hanlon said, I think we, we should all say that. Thank you, Press with Ranker. Thank you for being willing to put up with this bullshit. Thank you for taking that felony charge for us. Thank you for telling these cops to go themselves. Thank you. I appreciate your service. Press with Ranker did this for not a dime of money. He didn't even want to show himself on camera. Nobody, he didn't want anybody to know his name. When we talked privately, he said all he ever wanted to do was simply document what exactly what's going on in the street and let the public decide if what they were seeing was just and legal. That's what press with ranker wanted to do. He never wanted to be known. He never wanted anybody to see his face or know his name. His name is Garrett Vanette. We all know your name now press. We all got your back. He went to go get a complaint form and those are handled online is what this pig said. And I'm here in person, and I'm requesting the forms in person. And I'm telling you, that's where you need to get them. I don't have access. What do you do about that? You have a smartphone, right? Are you refusing to give me the nope. forms? No, nope. I'm giving you direction where to go. Then I need to you to print them out for me. There you go. That's all I'm going to do. Of course, pig. We know that's all you're going to do, you dirty pig. We know that. Can I speak to your supervisor? He I is the supervisor. supervisor. Your supervisor. He He's is the supervisor. Yeah. Call him. Um, for what purpose? 
You're refusing to give me a form. I'm asking you for what purpose, sir? I need a form. Okay, you're not Officer complying with my request? Forms. So, in order request. to make a complaint... So, so wait, hold, I'm sorry. Officer complying with my request? Form. Hold on. I need a form. Okay, you're not Officer complying with complaint. my request? Okay, no, no. Hey, dumb shit pig. Dumb shit pig. You are not complying with his request. He came there to get a form so that he could complain about your pigs that you work with at your pig shack who root and sleep and dig in the shit and piss that they live in, in that pig trough. He came there to complain about them unlawfully and unjustfully stopping him and lying. And when he called out that lie, they said, you're free to go. Do you understand, pig? Do you understand, you dirty pig? Do you not get it, pig? Do you not understand, piggy, piggy, pig, pig? He came there. You're not complying with his request. You understand, pig? Do you get it? I don't think that you do. I think you're too stupid to understand anything. So, in order to make a complaint, in order to make a complaint, what's your name, then? I'm trying to be decent with you. I'm trying to, okay. All right. Super Take this. Take this. Sir. I'm telling you, if you want to get a FOIA request, you're going to have to go to this website. Okay. Right now, my supervisor is not in. Okay. So he's not going to be in for the rest of the day. If you want, you're more than welcome to come back when he's in. Voice is cracking because he's on camera. Press with Ranker taught me that. Press with Ranker taught me about that, called the Hawthorne effect. Thank you for teaching me that, Press with Ranker. He said that when you put someone on camera, it'll change their behaviors. Now, I already knew about the study. I just didn't know what it was called. I knew that your behavior changed when you were put on camera, but I didn't know what's called the Hawthorne effect until Garrett taught me that. And listen to this guy. Is there a reason for his voice to be cracking right here? So he's not going to be in for the rest of the day. If you want, you're more than welcome to come back. You're more than welcome to come back. No, that's because he's on the spot and he's on camera and he knows the press's videos are being shared by other auditors and he knows that hundreds of thousands or millions of people are going to see it. So he's going to lose his voice a little bit. Back when he's out. I need an officer complaint for him. I've already told you. This website is where you go. I'm not going to tell you again. I'm here in person and I'm at requesting a form. That's fine and well, but you know what? So that's not how we do business. I'm telling you, this is where you need to go. Do you understand? I don't have access to the internet. Yes, sir. He knocked. This is where you need. This is where you need to go. Or no, do you understand? Do you understand? I don't have access to the internet. I need a form from you guys. Okay. I need Very a good. paper form. Find somebody who does have access and you can make a complaint there. <clears throat> Thank you. So you're still denying me a form? I am not denying you any access to anything. Yes, you are. What's your name and employee number? Sergeant Badger, Janice, Michigan State Police. 327 is my badge number. Anything else I can help you with today? Yes, I need to speak Sorry. to anything. What's your name and employee number? Sergeant Badger, Janice, Michigan State Police. Badger, Denise? Police. 327 is my badge number. Anything else I can help you with today? Yes, I need to speak to your supervisor. I've already informed you that he is currently not in. You're more than welcome to come back when he's available. And then he bites his lips. What do we know about what did we learn about body language the other day? When you bite your lips, you want to talk more. Your body's having a physical response so that you don't talk more. Looks to me like he's biting on his own lips right there, doesn't it? Looks like he's stopping himself from talking. Give me his number. No. Pig. Give me his information. Pig. No. So you're refusing to help me. What is your name, sir? He doesn't have to give you his name. I don't answer questions. Sir? What is your name? I don't answer questions. Okay. Then feel free to exit my post. He doesn't have to exit. He doesn't have to leave. He doesn't have to leave. That's a public post. He doesn't have to leave.
Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? He's not leaving. I'm working. Excuse me? I'm working. Is this open to the public? What does that say? Okay. What is your name, sir? I just kicked that premiere back nine minutes so we could sir? finish this at least. The door. What does that say? Have Authorized I breached numbers. the doorway? Excuse me? Have I breached the doorway? However, there is some... The onus is breach. on you to Excuse shut me. it then. I thought you'd be cordial with me, right? What? Like you've been cordial with him, pig? Like your pigs have been cordial with him? But You're not being cordial so you know. with me or helpful at all. Sir, I'm sorry. You could have got me the point. Oh, no, it's a fact. Sorry, that's your perception, but please. No, no, you haven't. Please, you are not giving me your name. I've given you instruction on what to do, everything like that. We don't have them here. It's maintained online. Please feel free to come back if you want to speak with my supervisor. Until then, please. You haven't given me Boy, a, he's so nervous. a name or a number to contact him. My supervisor is First Lieutenant Greg Cunningham. You can reach him here at the office, which is online. Wow, this guy has a hard time talking, doesn't he? You can reach him. You can't get What if I talk to you guys and every time I I was <laughs> I'm not saying that you shouldn't get nervous on camera. I'm showing you guys what I learned from Press with Ranker that when you are put on camera, the Hawthorne effect takes effect. The Hawthorne effect changes the way you typically are. I guarantee you when he talks to people, he doesn't talk like this. Look at his lips constantly. Bunged up. This is a fundraiser for Press with Ranker. If you want to donate directly to his GoFundMe, it's GoFundMe, Press with Ranker. R-A-N-C-O-R. Or send me in five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. There is a contract on my community page that shows that I signed on the dotted line to pay his lawyer $60,000 who's going up from Dearborn, Michigan all the way to the Upper Peninsula. Press with Ranker will tell you how many lawyers did we call on the Peninsula Press? How many people did we try to find from every little area right around the Upper Peninsula? We couldn't get any lawyers to take the case that were good. Couldn't get any of them to take the case because it's a great big political system. And now Kathy Holcomb in New York City, she wants the prosecutor and the cops to work more closely together. Think that's a good idea, Kathy? Or maybe just send in the National Guard to uphold citizens' rights and skip that bullshit. How about that, Kathy? I, sh I said this in the beginning of the, of, the, of the pro. We talked to how many lawyers? I mean, Press with Ranker was, we've been connected on this thing for such a long time. For such a long time. Yeah. Yeah, when they talk like he's he was talking like that, he's just trying to get it in there. At least he doesn't talk with the lift like this when he's going to get the words out. At least he's able to get the words out and they then talk like this all the time. So it's just absolutely amazing. So right there is the Cash App, the Venmo, the PayPal, the Zelle. Please, right now, and let me just read off a couple names. I kicked the premiere back to 3.39 to 3.39 p.m. So if you're waiting for the American Patriot premiere, it comes out at 3.39 on PayPal right now, we started off with, I don't know if I want to read all the names again, but let's let's just go with where, where we are. We started off at 525, I believe. Now we're at 740. And that's Thomas and Ray. I just got your donations. Now we're at 740 on PayPal. We got to get to $6,000. Let me check Cash App. Now on Cash App, we're sitting at, takes a second to update. And I got Scott L., Tom, uh, pa Paula Tom, um, Luke Desson, Jesse C, Cynthia D, uh, Kevin R, Joe Lee for the buck again. Thanks, Joe Lee. Better Days, uh, John C, thank you so much. So let me show you guys the Cash App here. Cash App, we're at $429. We got to get to $6,000 in total. Now, let me check the Venmo. Let me check the Venmo real quick and see where we are. Transactions here. We got more people who donated. Chris Boudreaux, who's in the chat. Jason L, who's in the chat. Dan Hanlon, who's in the chat, now we're at 175 bucks right there on Venmo. If I didn't read your name, I certainly will by the time we finish this, this whole thing. So you guys are seeing it. We are crowdfunding this 10, 5, 10, 15, a dollar. By the 10,000 people who see this video, if you put in a dollar, we raise the money. We raise the money if you put in a buck. If everybody here puts in a buck, we raise the money. Everybody who sees this puts in a dollar. 
My wife, Avatar. Oh, he, thanks, Chowder. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you so much, dude. So let's let's keep watching this video of press and watch him dismantle this jackboot thug pig. Or show up in person. Now, please, if you have nothing further, leave my post. You don't have to leave. He doesn't have to this leave. That's how you do business, huh? Sir, I've been nothing but compliant with you. You have not. No, you did not give me the forms I asked for. What's that junk you got in there? Excuse me? This. Oh, yeah, that's garbage. <laughs> that's garbage. All right, I'll be back. Very good. And I'm going to request What's the forms your name, sir? again. So What's your name, sir, so I can help you? You know what his name question. is. Okay. You know what his name is. Take care. Everybody nice knows day. what his name is. Danelle Brown coming me? in. How is have a nice day threatening? Reverend You're Sean. In my personal space. I'm Thank escorting you. you out of the building. Escorting, escorting you. Why is that? Escorting you, huh? Just that in case you wanted to know where it is. Escorting, huh? Where what? The door? Very good. This door? Okay. Thank you. That door? <laughs> so you're done threatening me now? What's that? Are you done threatening me now? In what way, shape, or form <laughs> have I threatened you? You just got in my personal space. You said you were escorting me out I'm of the sorry. building. That's your perception, sir. No, no. Have a it, good it, day. It, 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 what are you talking about? They arrested me as they were shoving me as time, I was. One more you're denying to give me them forms, huh? Yep, he is. Yep, he's sir, Chris. I've explained it to you three or four times what you need to do. I don't I'm need to get on understand. a website but, to get the forms. Excuse me? They should be accessible to the public you've got other shit over here right you got these stupid stickers sir but you don't have the forms you don't have a complaint now you're pointing a pen at me what is that i'm working here okay what are you gonna do with the pen he said the same thing to me i'm i'm not asking you i'm telling you please leave my phone no no you can't tell him you can ask him all you want but he does not have to leave at this point okay please leave no he doesn't have to I'm not going to tell you again. You're not telling anybody anything, pig. You're not in charge. That's a public post. Are you asking or telling me? You're being very confusing here. Right now, I'm asking you to leave. Oh, so now you went back to asking. Please leave. Beta, oh. beta mail. I'm back when my supervisor's here. All right? Well, why don't I just wait here for him to show up? He's going to be back I've sooner, advised right? you twice, sir, that he is not in the day. All right, we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. We Thanks are. Two, that's excuse that's me? funny. They can drag people off to the dungeon 24 hours a day, but the post is only open from 8 to 4. It is Friday. Correct. Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Yes. Now, please, he's not here right now. If you wish to speak with him, come back on another day. So, if you guys don't know, I actually went up to Michigan and I audited that police, to, that Michigan State Trooper post. And this pig I ran into, and he said the same thing to me. Please just let me finish doing what I'm doing. Let me finish doing what I'm doing. He said the same thing to me, and I just dominated his ass. Thank you. Because he's a beta male. That's a pig check, all right, Citizens Broadcast. No form? No form. <laughs> Sir, how many times do I have to explain this? Premier comes out in nine minutes. Explain what? American Patriot Premier comes out in nine the minutes. The should be We're going right around in here. circles, all right? right oh, yeah, here. we're going around in circles. Yeah, we're going right around in circles. Right here for me to yeah. access. I shouldn't have to speak to a supervisor. Yes, Mark. I shouldn't have to tell you my business. It's on that on that sticky note that you Yep, you sure up. can. Where is it? It's in my pocket. Okay. You can go to deletelaws.com, and there's donation tabs on there. There's Michael Dolan just contributed. Michael Dolan just chipped in. Thank you, Michael Dolan. I appreciate it. Yep. You sure can. You can go to deletelaws.com. There's donation tabs there. Go online. You'll be better assisted over there. All right. Thank you. I already told you I don't have access to the internet. And I requested the paper form. And you're, you're still denying me. me sir, the form. you're asking questions that you want specific answers to. No, I want a form. However, I'm telling I want you, two forms. sir, I'm telling you I want a four -year? how to get it. But you're form? not allowing me to explain it. Would you like me to explain An it? Officer complaint <laughs> slash accommodation form. They should be accessible to the public at all. Police posts. Glad you're back, Chris. That's not the case. Not here. 
So I'm curious why. Sir, I'm and asking I am you working again for the fourth this time. This is a public lobby. I'm asking you to leave. Okay? This is a public lobby. Why? Why are you asking me to leave? Why? Because you're not complying. Complying with what? You asking me to At leave? Least because you're being hostile for one. How am two, I being hostile? Being you're threatening me. Threatening me. Okay, with what and how? You just got in my personal space, told me to leave, told yes, me you're escorting me out. Yes, he did. You pointed a pin at me. Yes, he did. All right, aggressively. Sir. Yes, he did. Please leave my post. I'm not going to ask you again. You've so been asking the whole time. Threat. I will leave because obviously you're unstable. I'm but sorry, I will be back. That's not his perception. It's true. Your voice keeps cracking like you're you going through puberty. Have those forms available to the public. That's not how we do business. And I, I've oh tried. no, you, the way you do business is you collude together with Todd Tardiff and Cole Tardiff and Paige Tardiff to charge this man with a felony for pointing a camera at you. That's why we're doing the fundraiser. We're gonna raise sixty grand in total for his attorney, and we got one of the best attorneys in Michigan because of how you do business, there, pig. And explain to you, you won't let me. Obviously, no, it's impossible for you to explain how you're a jackboot thug pig. That's not how you do business here, but that's how it's supposed to be done. Okay, I'm sorry, that's your perception, but that's not no, that's a no, fact. That's not my perception. Very good, that's a fact. We'll see you next how week. How come I can go to another post, get the forms with no problem, right Which out in post? the public? Exactly, post? exactly. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, I can tell you, we do. The I just same picked thing up forms post. in Escanaba. That's the city police department. This yes. is the state police. Right. It doesn't which matter. We have different posts. We have available. 30 posts throughout the district. Yes, and there's more at least throughout the state, state posts so that you do think things the right way. We have 30 posts, so maybe there's too many pigs on that peninsula. Maybe, just maybe, there's too many pigs there. Sir, please. Please what? Why don't you just sit down and ignore him and let him film? That's his right to do it. I'm asking you to leave. Yeah, of course you're asking. I know you're asking me, but I have not broken a law. Have I? Exactly. I'm working. Exactly. You're working. Yes. What is your employment? Right now. You haven't given me a name. I'm press. You haven't given me a name. I'm working on right. a story. You want to at least get a Freedom of Information Act request. You want to compile, compile or at least make an officer complaint. Thomas P., I got, you got your donation. How to do that. You're Ray, being less than compliant. Adam, got soul. your donations. Sir, Thank you, you guys. Come back. Come back next You're week. asking me to comply by leaving. I actually have because plenty I'm of things to be taken care you? of and busy. All right. You could be getting me the forms, sir. They're maintained online. I don't know exactly. how much more specific. So why don't you be. get online and print the forms? That's out because there aren't any printable forms. It's all online submission. Do you understand that? No, I do not. Okay, very good. Look it up online with a phone that you may be able to, or a desktop computer. Okay, that way you can review them yourself. It's the same throughout the entire state of Michigan at every single post. No, it's not. Okay. Freedom of Information Act is actually maintained, or at least these requests are maintained in Lansing. Okay. You can actually file those through our website. You right. can make an officer complaint online. I don't need online. to file them through the website. So Sir. let me tell you something real quick, just so you guys know. I got to tell you a fun fact here. Impressed with Ranker will back me up on this. Okay. We did file a Freedom of Information Act. Cole Tardiff, pig, son of Todd Tardiff, chief of pigs, Daughter, the daughter named Paige Tardiff, denied the FOIA request with her name on it. PT, Paige Tardiff. She's the one who denied our FOIA request. We filed a FOIA request. We went through the process. But Paige Tardiff, the sister of Cole Tardiff, who arrested press with Ranker, denied the FOIA request. It's so corrupt out there, you guys can't even imagine what he's going through. Sir, right now, I've explained everything. I've exhausted my efforts with you. That's it. That's where More we're threats. at. You've exhausted your efforts, have you? You signed up to be a pig. You could quit. What's that? More threats. Let's hear them. I'm done. Thank you. Have a good day. Right. Let's see what you're busy doing. Sir. This is he has every right information doing. accurate. Yeah, I'm not, not looking at your computer at all. He has every okay. right. But See still, doing. I'm telling you that you are not allowed to record any of this information back here. But he's not back there. Am I recording now? You tell me. You're holding your phone in a position where you would be recording. Yeah, he's recording you. Jonas That's is fine. on you. You're more than welcome right. to do that in the lobby. To make sure but that right. no sensitive information this, this area 
is available to, to the public. There, okay? I am standing in I'm a public place. Right now Anything I can see from public, I can record. Sir, you so just, okay. you should not have any sensitive information <laughs> out for the public to see. Exactly. Sir, respectfully, so that, thank you for coming in, but we're done. Thank you. Yeah. Now he's butt hurt, said Chris Alderson. Now he is butt hurt. This cop is weak, said auditing with autism. Another pig hard at work. Another pig hard at work. He's a wanker, says King Braveheart. Refusing service. Not here to serve and protect. That's for sure. <laughs> Garrett is just owning this pig. Thanks, Danelle Brown, for the super chat. Since you're not going to give me a FOIA form, how about you tell me what you make a year? Since that's one of the things I'm going to request. It's online. 8080 hourly check. Premiere in 60 seconds, everybody. Here's the here's the link. Let me let me drop the link for you guys. Premiere is in 60 seconds. Coming to the end of this video as well for Press with Ranker. Hit the link right there in the chat. I sent the link in the chat. Get over to American Patriot. We're down to the last 45 seconds on this video. Press is just pressing this guy. He won't. He's just so nervous. After 30 seconds of pointing at him, Press picks up a slip here. Now he'll leave on his own accord. I'll be leaving now. Very good. There it is. There it is. So I put the link up for Press with Ranker to donate. If you guys can donate, here's a link to American Patriot. I'm gonna go over there as soon as this, as soon as that video begins. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Put in the comment section OTVO so I can read off a few names. Penny Netty, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Joy, good to see you. Solve it. Good to see you. Jay Cook, thank you for coming. Of course he won't. F, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Chevy, we missed you. We love you. So glad you're back, man. Your songs were incredible today. Good job, man. Andrea, good to see you. Sorry. Nice to see you. King Braveheart donated 50 or 60 memberships today. Kells Bells, thank you for coming. SSDI boy. Auditing with autism. I love it when you're in the room. I love Yahweh. Thank you for coming. Rev MSG. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. Your, your comments are funny today. I appreciate it. Good time. Thank you for coming. Put OTVO in the comment section if you would, please. Danell. Here's the, here's the link for the premiere coming out right now. One minute to go. Episode 37 of American Patriot. Turn that music down just a little bit. I'm going to drop the link in the chat right here. Please, everybody, don't meet me there. Beat me there. This is the new series that I created with an editor from Ironton, Ohio. It's right there. There's the link for the new series that's coming out right now called American Patriot. We're on episode 37. We're one minute till Wapner. One minute until Wapner. Don't meet me there. Beat me there, as the famous words of my passed away friend, Disorderly Product News. Thank you. Rest in peace, Disorderly Product News. There is the link for American Patriot right here. I'm going to be over there in the chat with you guys. Here is the link right there. Watch the Now, you can watch 37 and then come back, but there is so much to watch on this series Start at episode one and go all the way through the entire series. It is so super good. You guys are going to love this series. I couldn't hear myself think there. Sorry, I had to turn that down. 20 seconds to go. Thank you guys for coming. Chris Alderson, Mikey, Bruce, Gloria, V. Boyer, Greg. Thank you guys so much. Kat, good to see you. Kat, thank you. April, 10 seconds to go. I'm going to get the flock out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Chevy!